The Lone Star Hiking Trail is a 96 mile long hiking trail with an additional 32 miles of loops and crossover trails, the footpath only trails. Connecting public lands of the Sam Houston National Forest and private lands, it is the longest continuous hiking trail in the state of Texas. The trail starts just south of Richards, Texas and ends northwest of Cleveland, Texas. You got it. I'm Benji, and that's my wife, Catherine. She got a little scared there for a minute. Join us on our journey as we prove we can do hard things. Ready? Okay, we're at the beginning of the Lone Star Hiking Trail. We're just starting Trailhead 1. I was so excited to start this trail. I've been planning this trip for months. You can see it on my face. It's pretty nice out here. Yeah, a little bit chilly. Alright, coming up on our first divide in the trail. We're going on the Lone Star hiking trail. This way. Woohoo! So we're going to follow these. The trail is very nicely marked with 2 inch by 4 inch silver reflective blazes that are nailed onto the trees. Uh-huh. Look how big these trees are. I wonder how high up that is. The Sam Houston National Forest contains 163,037 acres of land. So we're still going, like, just starting. It's chilly. All right, we're out here and look. This is the trail. It's like a swamp. We gotta go through this. Let's see. If I can find a way around and keep my feet dry. I'm not sure about this. I was really surprised how wet and muddy this entire trail was. It proved to be very challenging. Very muddy, very swampy. Wasn't really expecting this out here on this trail. That's all right keep going my wife just put on her uh, little booties to keep her feet wet like a waterproof uh, shoe cover she's back here somewhere she's gonna catch up um, this is it this is the Lone Star Tracking hiking trail we are like half a mile in we're not very far I just had to stop so she could put on her little uh, feet protectors to keep her feet wet and I'm just gonna suck it up I'll probably have wet feet the rest of the day. Look how pretty it is. Look at these trees. Looks like there was a burn here or something. You can see that one's burned up. Some burned up stuff here. But very pretty. This is a Sam Houston National Forest. Coming up on the first mile marker. Woohoo! Boing. First one of, what, 96? And this trail is 96.4, yeah. something like that. So, that's the first mile marker in this journey. We did a 20 minute mile, mile two. Woo! Okay. Only 14 more. We're trying to get to mile 16 today for our campsite. We're gonna be on the lake. And it's a little late, it's 3.40 now. We're kind of pushing it. We might be doing some night hiking tonight. We're just extra miles tomorrow. We will see. We made it to a pretty pond. Came from that way. 
That's pretty. When I was researching this hike and doing research for this trail, on Facebook groups and everywhere on the internet, everyone said this trail was going to be so dry and we were going to have a hard time finding water sources. Everyone suggested caching water at different mile markers so that we wouldn't run dry. This was not our experience at all. This trail was very wet, plenty of water. Coming up on mile three. How you feeling? I'm walking alongside a creek over here. Let's see if I can show you. It's not very full creek. Sometimes the trail seems even wetter than that creek. It's been a lot of mud. That last mile took us like 23 minutes. We're making it. Went up to a sign. West Fork Trail, Lone Star Trail, Fork. So I guess we go this way. That's the West Fork Trail. We don't want to go that way. Ooh. Cool stairs. I yeah, saw so on Facebook that somebody just made these. You know, like a Boy Scout troop or something. Good job. Crossing this creek we've been following. I'm really hoping to find a Bigfoot footprint out here. Oh, here's more. Nice stairs. One star hiking trail. Woo! We're gonna stop and have dinner in about an hour, we think. We're getting kind of hungry. We drove here from Fort Worth. It was what, like a three and a half hour drive? Yeah. About a three and a half hour drive. We woke up, had a quick breakfast, got in the car with the kids and all the dogs and started down here and we haven't eaten lunch yet, just a bunch of snacks. So we're kind of hungry, but we wanted to get going because it'll be dark in about four and a half hours. We still have about 12 and a half miles to go. So, might be dark when we get there, but we're gonna try for 16. Coming up on a parking lot. I think this is the parking lot for Trailhead 2. Yeah, let's see. Woohoo! We have to cross this road to get back on the trail. There's the parking lot over there. I don't see any picnic tables or anything. Crossing Bethel Road. I'm safe. There's some people. Little Lake Creek Wilderness. We're entering the wilderness. And we'll see Sasquatch. Hiker Trail. We're entering a wilderness area. Dead trees are a natural part of the wilderness, but they can be dangerous for your safety. Don't camp under or around dead trees. We won't. Cool little gate. Making progress. Woo! Look at this. Uh, this might be more dangerous. <laughs> I'm gonna get off that. Yeah. They seem slippy. Good idea if it were like super wet, but. So we just got out of the mud swamp of doom. There's so much mud. And it took us so long. It was crazy. But now, I think we're out of it. We're hoping. Coming up onto a sign. Let's see. Right here. What does this say? North Wilderness Trail. Well, it's our hiking trail. No, we're gonna stay on this. And hopefully, yeah, there's a lot of crisscrossies. That one said two point something. So I think they just do little loops. But 
yeah hopefully we're out of the mud we did notice there's lots of little trees through here it's a lot different than where we came from or it was all big trees these are lots of little young trees and mud all right mile four one well, took us a lot longer what time were we at mile three you remember 402 oh, okay well, not too bad 25 minutes we went through the mud swamp of doom so, we're still making pretty good time this is nothing compared to what we just went through i couldn't film it because it was too too muddy we're in the national wilderness what was that nastiness Look at it. Why are you it? Sasquatch barf. Or something from that tree. In fact, he likes to mark his trails and vomit. <laughs> Sasquatch has been seen in the Sam Houston National Forest. It's a known fact. Known fact. That he likes to, Sasquatch likes to travel through this area. It's known. But there have actually been real sightings out here. I'm hoping to really get lucky. Well, we did find something. And see a Bigfoot. And if I do, I will show you. And nifty shoes. Sorry. <laughs> you didn't give me a... And she is with her shoe covers. All the way up to my toes. And they unzip to Ooh. put your foot in. They get bigger and they have a nifty pocket. I don't have any in <laughs> Those are her new shoe covers. And they have a plastic bottom. <laughs> or whatever, like a grippy bottom. And she didn't want to get wet feet out here. And it's proven it's worth for her. Because my feet are wet. And she hasn't had wet feet yet. What did you find? Close on. Oh, he likes his leap. <gasps> Wait, did I give the leaf to its butt? <laughs> I know that. Confused. Yeah. Some cool natural steps up here. Coming up on another mile marker. Mile five. Straight through the mud. It's parking lot number three via the Lone Star Trail. So I'm guessing, yeah, we turn. We go this way. Entering Little Lake Creek Wilderness. Uh, same sign. We're doing it. Cool bridges. Hey, at least we don't have to walk through this swamp. Yeah. Keep hearing something over there. Like a Bigfoot or something. Oh. All these uh, palm frond things. Pretty cool. You got it. <laughs> Shut up, I thought you put it away. I thought I saw you put it in your pocket. She got a little scared there for a minute. On the bridge. She doesn't do well on bridges. No, but on my phone I didn't even notice. <laughs> Woo. Mile six. Hey, now we, now we can uh, stop for dinner soon if you want. All right, I plan for dinner at mile six. It is 5.15. Uh, I might keep pushing on. It's pretty thick through here. I don't know where we would cook anyway. Yeah. We stopped. We're like almost seven miles in for dinner time. Have some dried roast beef that we dehydrated in this. And put in loaded mashed potatoes. And she has Roasted garlic mashed garlic. potatoes. Got right. some water over here. That's nice and hot. And just put it in Ooh. here. It is nice and hot. It's hot. That's good. Okay. We're gonna eat and keep going. 
blackberries. Let me get them. Mm -hmm. Sure. I don't think camera woman is my thing. I'm not even sure I have them. Look at your fingers. Tasty. Mm, yeah, those are good. Yeah. Look, there's more. Blackberries taste like schnapps. More blackberries. More. Awesome. Oh, oh no, more mud. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a little river. We're going around this way. Oh no. Yeah, that's a little bit of mud. Oh look, someone cut through over here. Bypassing the mud. Man, more blackberries. Look at them. Yeah. I wouldn't eat a red one. You don't want to upset your stomach. It might just taste a little sour, though. I don't know. I wouldn't eat a mushroom either. That's a funny looking mushroom. That's not the kind I saw. <laughs> right. Woohoo! Eight miles in. Oh my goodness. <laughs> we it's can do it. Completely crooked. Oh yeah. Pretty heavy duty wood though. You got this. <laughs> Yay! Alright. <laughs> Trail to one star. Hiking trail, parking lot number three, this way. All right. I wonder what's that way. The North Wilderness Trail. Yeah. <laughs> this way. I didn't say how far, but it's coming up. What do you do? <laughs> A makeshift bridge out here. Careful, it's slick. You did it. I don't know what's yet. <laughs> <laughs> we made to Trailhead 3. I don't know how you're not eating more. Mm. I'm about to eat a protein bar, I think. I got now we gotta cross this road without getting run over. Oh, I know, they're going really fast. Get some Frogger sign here. And we're going over there. Finally, Praise eight to Jesus. ten. The nine mile marker was missing. We yeah. couldn't find it. Might be because we were watching our feet in the swamp of doom. But we're currently walking through. Looks like there was a burn through here not long ago. It's getting dark. It's 7.30. We still have six more miles to go. Or that's our goal. We'll see. All right, it's getting pretty dark out here, so put my headlamp on and she has hers. And try to get through more of this mud. We're almost, I think we're almost 12 miles in. So we have about four more miles till we get to camp. And it's eight o'clock. Hopefully we'll be there by 9.30. All right, we finally made it to Lake Conroe. Can't really see it. Let's see. There's a lake out there. I didn't ensure you. We've got our tent set up. I am filtering water now. We're totally out of water by the time we got here. So have some water going here. I'm about to put Aquamira in it. It also went through the filter, just being double careful. And she's preparing our home in here. Hello. <laughs> That's it. We're glad we're finally at our campsite. It was a long night hike. I'll tell you about it in a minute. <laughs> we're in our tent. I'm in we're my sleeping bag. <laughs> we ate some snacks. Sleeping bag has a hood. It's pretty awesome. You want to tell them about our last few hours of hiking? We literally right. had to wait through water that was ankle deep, but when you're not expecting any water, that's pretty darn deep. 
My yeah. shoes didn't get wet at all. There's mud everywhere. So much mud. <laughs> so much mud. Like, like inches, inches of mud. Yeah. A lot of mud. A lot of mud. We're tired. Mm -hmm. We're here to bed. <laughs> just woke up. It's like seven o'clock. It's day two. It's her birthday. Woo! I'm forty. I can't tell. Happy birthday to <laughs> you. Happy birthday. Need to stop. <laughs> We're gonna make some coffee. Probably back up and go. Okay. All right. This is the lake. At 16.6 miles in. Very nice. We had our tent set up uh, like right in there. And I should have took a picture of it when it was all set up, but I forgot. Um, we we're packed up. We we're ready to go. We had breakfast and coffee. And now we are planning on going to Huntsville State Park. So it's going to be like a 20 mile day if we can make it, which I think we can. We're starting early. It's like 8.30 right now. Um, just use the restroom and we're gonna get going one cool thing we learned about yesterday is these markings they have on the trees right here Whoop. we were doing our night hike and we had to hike in the dark yesterday for like two or three hours it was crazy but these markings on the tree right there um, they have something in them that's reflective and we made it really helpful because we couldn't see anything. It was pitch black out there and we had little headlamps, but I mean, we could see like, you know, five feet in front of us with those. That's about it. There's no way we would have seen these markings on the trees if it wasn't for those reflectors on there. Um, so it was awesome. Whoever came up with that idea of putting reflectors on those uh, blazes on the tree did a great job. That was great. And you were able to uh, help us get to where we were going. That was cool. Let's see if we can see them up close. Here's a burnt one, but something on there that's reflective. It was very helpful. <laughs> All right, we started 17. Yeah. Right, mile 17. Woohoo! And we're walking to some campground up here. There's fresh water we'll load up on and use the restroom if we need to. Keep going. Hopefully, maybe soap and water. I have soap. Yeah. Water. <laughs> We're coming up on a campground. Signs. Okay, there's the way we go. Hopefully, we'll find a restroom or something. Woohoo! So we're like 19.9 miles in. It's pretty nice, yeah. All right, so here's the restrooms at this campground, and there's a shower in there, and a toilet and a sink. Really nice keepers here. Oh yeah. Then you can get water here. Here's how you do the water. You don't turn it, you push it down. So, we filled up all our water with that. So we're ready to go. I don't know. This was towards the end, this water. This towards the end near the bathroom. And we came out from way down there. We came up here. And then the water's straight across. Then we keep going this way. We're almost at mile 24, we think. And we stopped and had a break. And walking through a fern forest. This is the trail. Kind of overgrown. Yeah, I am. So, we're gonna stop and have lunch here pretty soon. Oh, there it is. Oh, we're a quarter of the way done. See that one fourth up there? Woo! Woohoo! Let's take a picture. I come across our first wildlife. A little snake. I don't think so. I think he's looking to find food. I'm gonna leave him be. I'm going around you carefully. Uh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> We're at 
at mile 25. The mile marker's here. There it is. Ooh. For lunch. We have ramen, beef jerky in it. She had natural ramen. Natural ramen. <laughs> with chicken. With chicken jerky. So I'm gonna eat really quick. Oh, and we have our nice tea. Yes. From Thank our you, Galilee. <laughs> Mediterranean <laughs> place we go to. It was very good. Alright, we're gonna eat and then get back on the hiking trail. We're on a road walk now and we came across a whole patch down here of wood sorrel. I don't know what it is. It tastes like lemon. You can tell it's wood sorrel because see they have heart shaped leaves. Kind of looks like a clover. That's good. Very lemony. So. I love it. <sighs> Walking on the Walking Dead road now. That's what it looks like. Zombies are going to come out of nowhere. We have to run for our lives. <laughs> <laughs> All right, coming up on cool pond with the bench in the water. <laughs> wow, that's pretty. Is that a turtle out there? Wow, oh, that's pretty. Yeah, this is pretty. Let's go for a that. swim. A fishing pole. We're at about, we think we're at like mile 29 or something. We're not sure exactly what mile we're at because I haven't seen a mile marker since like 26. So we're guessing. This campsite seems pretty cool. Very pretty. <laughs> we're at mile 31. We just got done with the break. Next stop, Huntsville State Park. Woo we just got to the 32 mile mark and we're coming up on the dam that's up here. It's like a low water crossing dam. There's very nice houses out here in this lake. And then, oh, yep, here we go. That looks scary. Yeah. Oh my goodness. You go across this. And then I think we go that way. I'm not sure. I'll put my phone down for this. How was the water crossing? Oh, good. Put on our crocs. We made it. And it was nice and cold. Our warm feet. made it to Huntsville State Park. Shower. <laughs> um, beating up some water for us so we can make a uh, delicious hot beverage. Maybe some tea or some coffee. And hoping to trade a 10 for some one so I can pop machine. Need some soda. Coke Zero is calling my name. Here we are. This is Huntsville State Park. Let me see. I think it's safe to say that we thought we were in better shape than we actually were when we started out this hike. Having backpacks on and hiking around mud and through mud and through little creeks makes your hike a whole lot harder. You can see how sore we were just walking back from the shower. <laughs> Doing good. Go. <laughs> The heavens declare the glory of God. The skies proclaim the work of his hands. Day after day they pour forth speech. Night after night they reveal knowledge. They have no speech, they use no words, no sound is heard from them. Yet their voice goes out into all the earth, 
their words to the ends of the world. The Lone Star Hiking Trail was a very challenging hike. At over 96 miles long, it can be exhausting if you are not properly prepared. The trail was extremely muddy, making what should be an easy part of the trail take twice as long. My feet became soaked and wrinkly like I just got out of a bath from walking through all the muddy wet sections of the trail. There was plenty of water to filter and the trail was secluded. If you want privacy, this is the trail for you. The people we did encounter on the trail were very friendly and nice. This hike was hard, but don't let that discourage you. Always remember, you can do hard things.